podcast. Why are you fucking whispering? Call Matt and tell him to join this party. Why the fuck didn't you just ask me in the other one? The other fucking thing? Why didn't you just add me in the other party? Whenever I try to start a voice chat, anything happened. Okay, are you watching? Stick up child. Beat a turd. Okay. Why do you sound so sad? Are you sad of Matthew whooping your ass in Madden? Mateo, are you there? I'm gonna start getting shit up. Uh oh, you heard that? I heard that. Wow, we wow. Ooh. Fuck. Who the fuck is watching? Whatever. Well, Jar, I'm just gonna start it because I don't know where the fuck Matthew is. Shit. Okay. Okay. If you could talk and not just be muted, I could. That would be very helpful. Yeah. What the fuck is this nigga don't just fucking mute his mic? I reckon you didn't do it then. I need subtitles. Why do you say that? Now, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? 
I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Are available for him coming to one then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's gotta stop. That's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, Hello? it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They <laughs> Nigga, why aren't you fucking hand, talking? Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Yeah. It goes to show. Yeah. People I feel all go them. mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time. Oh. Oh, the little kid? Yeah. No, it's a little kid. Yes. What'd you say? Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. I need to drag myself out that window. Officer?
officer. Holy shit! Get away from me! Fucking she's done it. Hello? Anybody? Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. I just fucking hear Matthew chewing in the background. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Touch on the TV. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're <laughs> staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Why are you fucking draw talking? Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls <laughs> are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you.
this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. <laughs> Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my tree house. <laughs> She's like A. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh, dumbass. Bang you. <laughs> Hi there. Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. <laughs> Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. You're dead. Fucking dead. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Look, we're gonna, nigga, we're not gonna eat. We're not gonna be able to eat. We're gonna starve to death. <laughs> nigga. Why is this bitch running? I have a fucking broken leg. I think he's really crushing over an eight-year-old? Wait, are you gonna watch- wanna watch all the seasons? Or no? Oh, man! I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. Mom. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. <laughs> What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. 
thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out yeah, in the open like this. Know. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm a neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. You gotta go. The monster's coming. Who the fuck says that? Let's go. Little bitch, she's so the fucking song. Fucking the song. Were any of those guys neighbors too? Well, what do you think of the game so far? Thank you. It's a white ass, annoying ass kid. Because he's just a uh, fucking. Joe, did you ever get that wing stuff you wanted yesterday? Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Oh yeah, the fucking Sean guy is gonna die. I was worried it'd be bad here too. And quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, breaking down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes, you stupid bitch. Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. <laughs> Run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Hmm, I wonder why. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. And so, where were you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. You just sit down with fucking neighbor and I hate that. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, so I'm thinking. 
First thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Teenage girl with her guts spilled out on the floor stood up from the dead and tried to bite me. Why do you meet your mic well, do what you think you should. Need it. We got plenty of chores as it is. Yo, what Maybe are you eating? The barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Oh. Really? I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to get better tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? You call it good fun. just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Fucking black and nigger. Tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. He's a game with the fuck name. Right It smells like shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I missed my mom and dad. <laughs> I bet, Cliff. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. This nigga. his wife she or she was cheating on him hey and he up. killed the guy that she was cheating on him with what? yeah well you slept in a barn little lady lucky you don't have spiders in your hair <laughs> but i bet your daddy scared them all away huh i'm uh not her dad name's lee i'm kenny dad we're in the fence what the fuck up duck you stupid little fuck we better get going or we won't hear the end of it <laughs> That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and... Personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get Duck this fence so up, fucking, the I'm better. Glad fucking had to put I want to build down. a fence! Or you get to yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Yo, what do you think of Duck so far? I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. <laughs> you can visit. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. She's in first oh, grade? Uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Wow, I can't believe first grade so easy, Joel. Hey there, uh, Kenny. 
So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. How you doing, Doc? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bikes to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. You gotta do what you can to survive. I put a gun to that kid's head and pulled the trigger? Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Joel, you there? <coughs> Ooh, Matthew. Joel. What the fuck was that? How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Mind your own business. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the city. Oh, they get worse that. before they do.
Hello? You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Oh, and trying to be less of an asshole would serve you just fine. No! I'll get my gun! Why the fuck are you talking? My leg is Hold on.
Okay, hello? Joel. Fucker. Oh, okay. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you. Don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It almost, it almost got me, man. It, they tried to save me. I know, son. I. Uh... Fuck your son, nigga. <laughs> Fake ass me. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can tell it's your daughter and you need his help. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Why are you so mad? That ride to make it if you want it. Thank you. Fucking redneck bitch. <laughs> it's kind of like that fucking ticket machine from fucking Chuck and Cheese. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. I can hear you whispering. I see it blessing. No, what the fuck are they eating? Why are these zombies here? You stupid ass little kid. These niggas are kill that motherfucker. trying to avoid those things just like you don't come in here and swear at me i'll say whatever i want if you start threatening these people you'll have to excuse her the hell he or anyone will this is about survival do you guys not see what's happening what is it 
I, I have to pee. Do I make her piss herself? Go out there again no. in a second. In a minute, Claire. I don't want to stay with a stinky ass old girl. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. And right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does... First thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it because that boy is bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No! You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> <Come and talk. laughs> what have been there for? <clears throat> Fucking weirdo. You okay? Just well, I'm not bitten. So, yeah. Uh, guys? Uh oh. Yeah, have a heart attack, bitch. Have a heart attack. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please <laughs> get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. 
What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Now I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? I could tell. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Joel's been watching, Hopefully, I think. Hopefully. Need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. You. What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your Lily and Larry. That's right. And you. No, you keep an eye on that front Katie. door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Who the fuck named her son Duck? Can't let anything happen to Ducky. Take this from stupid ass guy. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. You could have it. Not box. much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. They come here. It's just for It's not they much, come. but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. <laughs> That's sweet, Lee. This is his mom and dad's, um, pharmacy. They died. <laughs> this was the dead. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? <laughs> Your mom did. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. I bet you hope that old fuck died right. <sighs> well, they had a heart attack. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think you it'll can't. be okay. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. 
you didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, uh, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. He killed the guy that his wife was cheating on him with. Oh! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. <laughs> I'll find you a bandage. Joel talking about that like a, need to track like a, down a fucking weirdo? Gonna help Larry. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in She's case gonna find out anyways, like way. on the last episode. Stay close Fucking to mom and dad are zombies. Okay. Oh, and his brother's dead. Cat forgot his brother. Cat forgot about his brother. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. Ooh, this is your parents' you. store. Hi. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares? Who <laughs> if you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Do you want to get fucked in your ass? Hmm? Joel? Hmm? Stupid nigger. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He was. Nigga, this nigga Lee said that he was bad. 
the guy that he killed. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? to get some supplies for the group and a bunch of the roman ones got the jump on me i'm hiding over here but they won't leave what's up glenn's trapped down at the motor inn hey glenn we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you all right <sighs> awesome i'll sit tight till then sounds good i'm gonna hold on to this until we get glenn back okay i'll take good care of it what do you think i think doug's not great around zombies these you know, family here I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. Can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Uh, 
spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble of rain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? The war. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Who the fuck says rad? Gully said rad. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. How do you how do you gonna bet? Miss, how much do you gonna bet that she's been? You help. It's too late for that. Yep, Guys, she's been, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything no, you can no, find. Look. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't <laughs> want that. It's not Christian. 
Please. <laughs> Just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know. That was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Then shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those things. Shoot her. Help her out here. You're insane. Just take this thing. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. God bless you, all right? God bless you too. Nigga said she. Nigga, see someone kill themselves. She. Everyone, all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but. Good to hear it. And things back here. Oh, oh, oh. Quiet. Our friend is still in and out. Of won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. The fuck? Joel, are you on something Instagram? It's the remote to my dad's TV. Are you want me to end the live stream? When I'm okay, okay. Well, I think the episode's about to end. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Back as one of them. How the fuck? Fucking human. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this. See the fucking lungs spilled out. Yeah, I think hmm. so too. We better hmm. keep it down out of here. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. 
The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. It wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Joel. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there.
Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Thanks, Doug! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... Shit! <laughs> Somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Nobody has much to begin with. 